dog and any other dogs who are watching the program by saying cats. Sorry about that, it's probably caused chaos. It's all Fred's fault because he's been to a museum in Ramsbottom totally devoted to cats. There are many interesting museums in the Northwest, but a museum dedicated to cats? Well, there is one in Ramsbottom, and it was set up by John and Sylvia Taylor. But why? We used to live here above the shop, and the collection that we had grew and grew, so we moved out and let the museum open. How many items have you got in here? Two or three thousand. <laughs> We've not counted them for a long time. John, where do you get them all from? Here, there and everywhere. We, we got lots when we've been on holiday, when we've been travelling, people have brought them us, even car boot sales, come from everywhere. This must be the only cat museum in Britain. As far as we know it is, yes. Um, we don't think there have been many far behind us, mind you, once they see it, but yes, it's the only one as far as we know. I think these cats are having an effect on me. Get rid of that. All right, weather now. It's not gonna rain cats and dogs. Groan at home, I know you will. So I will say, and what have we got for tonight? Well. Dry and clear. Temperatures down to 1 Celsius, which is 34 Fahrenheit. Now, we could get a frost again tonight. And for tomorrow, a dry, bright morning. But the cloud will increase in the afternoon. But the great news is, it's going to be quite warm. 14 Celsius, 57 Fahrenheit. And tonight's wonderful picture was sent in by six-year-old Kellen Bricker, who goes to West Kirby Primary School, which is on the Wirral. So from Ramsbottom and this amazing museum, have a pleasant evening. Bye-bye. Tomorrow.